Hi Omar, welcome back. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, yes, my name is Cash from Cloud Soldier, and uh, what we are going to do uh, in this lab is a basically it is a continuation of last lab in which we discussed about uh, if I we discussed about rolling updates and uh, what else we did. Tell me quickly. Uh, we did rolling updates, setting the VM. So we, 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 we configured our load balancer. So we did a lab. So we did, we did set up a infrastructure for our load balancer lab. Then we configured our lab, uh, sorry, the load balancer, and we configured our front-end configuration, back-end pools, help probe, and load balancing rules. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, at the moment, you can see is production pool is pointing to production pool, the rule. So we go yeah. to rule uh, and I'm just showing you again. So for example, we change this to uh, just for memories again, just to revise. So we stay change to stay at the moment. Like you can see that at the moment, it is our blue environment. So this is a production environment. Yes. So if you go back and change this to say, just change, we basically we are switching at the moment. So staging pool, save. Right. So if I go back here and refresh it, uh, I think the reason, tell me why it's not doing it. Because it's been cached. All right. So if we go to incognito, what should we get? We should get green environment. This yes, time. yes, good. Right. Come on. Still chasing. Oops, let's see. Uh, reload again, let's try. Okay, so let's check what's causing the issue. So, staging pool is there. And uh, our root is there. Probe A is there, refresh it. And uh, if we go to our don't understand. Give one second. Yeah. Right. So it is working on the reason it was we were getting error. Um, we we were using the wrong IP address. So if you go to public IP. Yep. And copy that. And if I go to Cognito, so what should we get? Green? Yep. Paste. Default. Oops. Default. Dot HTML. Yeah. So okay, happy? Yes. So okay, uh, so for this exercise, what we do, we switch back to our production environment. How do we do that? Uh, we go back onto the rule and we switch it back. Yes, good. So we go to load balancing rule. Yes. Go again and here then... and switch back to production. Yes. So whatever we're doing this manually, we're going to use an Azure pipeline to do all that. Save. Right. So if we go to refresh again. So if you copy this because it's an incognito, try that again. And it should back to blue, yeah? Yep. Yeah. 
all right so it's pointing to this so what all that what we just done now we're going to be doing uh wire 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 uh via the pipeline now pipeline yeah okay so just close all that so if we go to our dev I should have come and we go to our project go to pipeline go to release yeah yes let me check is it recording or not so if you go to uh, create new pipeline let me just move this so we can follow the steps what we done okay uh, so go to pipeline we create new pipeline yes Why this is running? So I will just cancel that. This from yesterday. Um, okay, let's go back to pipeline release, new release, and. Uh, start from empty job and what do we call it swap pools yes swap pools and what do we call the pipeline uh, we call it um, we call it load balancer pipeline load balancer pipeline Okay, and uh, we're not going to add any artifacts now because it's just using a simple pipeline to switch to a staging slot. Yeah. So uh, save it. And we go to our soap pools agent because uh, we do not have any task in Azure DevOps to switch back from production to um, staging. So what we can, we can use a use of a PowerShell. Yeah. Is it AZCLI? Yes, a AZCLI, right? Yeah, AZCLI. We select the Power yeah. PowerShell script. Yeah. So we heard that. Uh, what do we call display names? We call chain back and pool. Okay. Change. Back and pool. Okay, and resource is our this one. Yeah. Uh, script type inline PowerShell. PowerShell and then script location inline. inline, inline. Right. Okay, now I ex I explain to you what do we have our in our script. So this is our script. So our existing resource name group name is LBV, LBVM argument, not V. Okay. Is it? Check it again. So it's uh, LBVM RG1. LBV, so load balancer VM RG1. Yeah. So RG1, and what is our load balancer name? So our load balancer name is app load balancer. Yes. So we got app load balancer, and our backend pool is uh staging pool staging pool what i'll do also copy this uh, script in my youtube description so we can use it from there okay okay so this is just like to get it's like querying and getting the handle on to these resources so we explain into variables so load balancer is equal to get load balancer name of the load balancer is this one resource group we have defined over here now then we also trying to get probe which we created over here this is a health probe so we this is querying this one 
Okay. Get load balancer probe config. This is the command for that. This is and name of the probe, we got probe A, probe A, and load balancer name is the load balancer name. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And same thing, we're getting the value for back in pool. So get load balancer back in pool, resource group, we got resource group name, resource group name, and, uh, and load balancer. Right. Load balancer name. So load balance and name is equal to the continuation just of this app. And this one is um, we are setting up the handle on this command and make sure we get all the values. So we're, this is where we are switching to a backend pool. So this is our backend pool, which is staging pool. So load balancer, give all that in a pipe output, input to output, output set rule, name rule A. We got the rule A here. Yes. Rule, where is the rule? Rule, uh, rule in here, and we're telling it's at the moment we are production. So at the moment, the rule is in rule front end IP creation, load balancer, front end creation. In the bracket, zero means this is the first back end pool, which is this one production. Okay. And Protocol TCP, front end port 80, back end port 80, back end address pool, which is we have defined back end pool name, back end pool probe, and which we already got it. Back end pool, this is the one. Okay. And load balancer, set load balancer. Okay, so we just copy all that. Yep. Yeah. And we go to our pipeline. Anything else we have to do? Um, let me remind. Mm. Okay, there should be PowerShell options. Okay. Uh... Oh. Go down. Let's try. Oh yeah, down, down, down. You see? Uh, control option, I think it is. Uh, no. Other one. Environment variable. No. Let's just to check. Okay, nothing. Anything else? Uh, doesn't seem so. Right. Uh, I think we did a mistake. Uh, instead of Azure CLI, we need to add Azure PowerShell. Yeah? Yeah. Azure PowerShell add add and in one hour I'll have to go all right okay it's no problem so uh, what let's configure this all right for this and in line script here yeah? yep so we copy this all that code from here. Use the latest install version here and save it. Hello? Yep. Save right. And click OK. Mm -hmm. We could change the display name, but it's fine. That's for uh, us, not yes, for sorry. the. Yes, yes. So, what was the display name? Ah, uh, it was. I forgot the name. Oh, man. What are the 
disaster. Okay, not to yeah. worry. We'll, we'll do. All right. We'll skip that. Um, so let's do this. It's name change uh, back and pull. Uh, chain back and pull. Okay, and we we got a pipeline already there. So save it again. Uh, let's run that. Yeah. Yep. Create everything. Let's see what happens. So pull. So this is this is to change back and pull from production to staging or from blue environment to green here yeah? yep Let's create So let's see. Um, we might get error with the PowerShell script because sometimes we haven't like given the values accordingly. Let's see. Uh, looks like it is successful. So, if we go to yep, the successful to check that. Um, so, if we go back to our mm -hmm. so, if we go to our Home load balancer. It should have switched to staging. Oh, yeah. So if you go to our load balancing rule, production refresh again. Yep. See. Yes. See. Yeah. It is going to staging pools. Remember. So we had production before. So it switched to. Staging pool now. Staging pool. And say, for example, if you want to change this to production again. So if you go to edit pipeline job and so what else we can do. Uh, so, so what is the name of our production? So what we can do, we create another script here to switch back. Yep. Mm, what is it? LG, what's the staging pool for? Um, you're not helping me. I have to go no, back. I didn't. You mean what, probe? What, what is the production pool called? Production pool? Oh, production pool, okay. So we just reapplying again to switch back. Yeah. Production pool. X again. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. This is the load balancer name. So that was correct for uh, uploaded balancer. Yeah. So we have staging pool here and we change it with production pool. Yeah. Production pool. Production pool. And uh, what we do here, just change this to number one. Number one, all right. Okay, and copy this uh, for, and let's create another pipeline. Yeah? Yeah. So if you go to release, uh, new pipeline, and we call empty job 
we call it um, what was the name um, what was the name the name was uh, load balancer pipeline pipeline and we say uh, for production yes for production for production backend okay uh, and we call it uh, what do you call it swap uh, to A swap pools to production pool okay production backend pool okay yep and save it save it at task azure powershell yep uh you missed that powershell yeah here it is first one so we do this Line script, yes. So we can say that uh, we can just copy here, okay? Looks like should work. So we got production pool here, or oh, we got double L. Use the latest, right? Yes. Yeah. Save it. Save it and create release. And just say, say this is for uh, this release is for switching back to production. Yes. Production or from green in green environment to blue environment. Yeah. Yep. Create release. Okay, uh, just wait after it's creating now. Let's go to logs, initialize. Let's see, that should work. I think maybe, maybe we need to tweak our code again. So what I'll do uh, in my YouTube description, I add both scripts like switching back from production to production to uh, staging and staging to production. Okay. So do you understand what we're doing? What we have done all the way? Yes, I so do. So we, we have discussed all the deployment strategies in AZ400. Uh, we're getting error. See, I told you, let's see what's the error. Uh, uh, load balance a subscription rule. Powershell exited with code one. Right. Uh, so the error what we are getting. Uh, if I show you again. So what we we just done. Uh, if I go to edit pipeline. Go to task. So I just switch back to zero. All right. This we, we we put it one, but we should be having zero. So keep it zero for both scripts. So we ran that, and uh, if I go to release, and this is completed, release two. It's all green, succeeded. So what should we have now? So what do we do? What what we what we supposed to be checking? What Okay, so 
as of now we should see that it should have swapped the backend so we change to production right yeah so, so we now go to our um, load balancing rule so at the moment it was staging here it should back to production now because okay. let's refresh it See? Yep. Perfectly, we switched over. So we got two scripts, two pipelines, one for switching from production to staging or from blue to green and the other script from green to blue and from staging to production. Yeah? Yep. So let's delete our uh, resources to save the cost. Go to overview, go to our resource group and delete all resource group copy that so we had lots of resources here always click that apply and paste and delete yep so I hope you understood what we have done yes so basically uh, we have used a load balancer to route our traffic from production to staging and staging to production. Uh, please, um, any comments or any queries you ask, if you have any, please do not hesitate to ask me. And uh, you can ask me directly in the YouTube, my YouTube video. And hopefully, we'll be creating more uh, videos for this AZ400 series. Thank you very much, Umar. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.